Ladies and gentlemen, let's introduce our first athlete, the killer from Cameroon. Make some noise for Khaled Jashal. Khaled Jashal might be one of the most gifted people on the planet for the sport of arm wrestling. Jashel, 28 years old, 183 centimeters, 121 kilograms. Genuine genetic freak, this guy. He is yeah. a specimen. He he's, he's so gifted. He's declaring he's about to he take over the sport. He doesn't look as big as he is. Like he, he steps on. Wait, you're like 120. Doesn't make any sense. He's dense. He's ready. Let's see what he brings tonight. Khaled Jashel. Ladies and gentlemen, now introducing the most famous arm wrestler on the planet and put your hands together for Alexander Schoolboy Bezazikov. Let's look now for Alex Schoolboy as he makes his way to the arena. The giant man standing, 195 centimetres, six foot four. You can see the ominous presence of Schoolboy himself. So many people believe in this man is a future super heavyweight world champion of our sport. Carla Gisele thinks he can stand in his way. Schoolboy has declared it tonight. He is levelled up. He is ready and he is going to 6-0 his opponent. You can see as he makes his way out now looks calm he looks collected very few nerves this this man is the current under 21's world champion now of course at 22 years of age you can see he is a crowd favorite this man will look to explode into a top roll into the hand he's not going to run from the hand of Carla Gishel he will come straight at that hand and we'll find out who's got the better top roll 22 years old feels like he's been here forever like close to two meters tall, just impressive specimen. He's so strong, he's so gifted, he loves the sport, he's here to stay, and he, sh he said he will pretty much show Khaled what's up. Unreal stuff. Here we go now, you can see as the two athletes have made their way into the arena, the first negotiations are about to get underway as we wait for our referee, head referee, Tim Talmadge, to make his way to the table. How do we see this one? How do you, where do you see this stylistically? Top roll. I think uh, if if schoolboy cannot deal with Khaled's hand, he might end up in hook. But we will see after the first round. Both of them faced Larry on King of the Table. Both of them beat Larry Wheels. Declaring no movement. Thumbs are going down. We are moments away from the go. go. Move. We're going to learn so much right here. Let's go. go move. Go! 
into the hook. They into go, the and it's, and it's Khaled looking for the offensive drive, but it's schoolboy Running foul. Now. Running foul on schoolboy. And a great battle. You can see there that Khaled's wow. arm is not refusing to go down, and it's a great hook wow. position. But here comes the pronation now from Khaled as he goes into that King's move defense. The wrist goes back. Opening round to schoolboy in the hook. You have a runner. Oh, sucks. Khaled was on a runner. Who was on a runner? Referees consulting with each other. Let's see what the call is. Potentially a runner call. Brave. It costs a lot of energy. It looks like a little bit different setup. He's possibly, more the, back. possibly the top roll setup yes. now. Move. But will he get through the hand of Khaled Jashel? And Khaled Jashel leaning back. And on the offensive drive, schoolboy on the defense now. Uh, Khaled Jashel looking to pronate now. Go over the wrist. The wrist going now on schoolboy. And, but an elbow foul called. Yeah. On Khaled Jashel, hey. one foul apiece. Top roll. You can see a higher grip there from Schoolboy than his original grip, but still fearing, I feel like, the, the Khaled Jashel like hand. <laughs> Let's see, where does it go? Tim Talmadge about to help him. And yes. the attempt to top, top roll, roll and from Schoolboy, but the containment, oh, here we go. Containment oh, is. Oh, oh my Khaled God! Khaled Jashel! Oh. Whoa! Oh my goodness, he cannot be top rolled, Khaled Jashel. Oh! Oh, Damn you right, my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Schoolboy has just been pinned. He would do. Calm, collected. Let's Get see Schoolboy's game plan. I, I... Deep grip, straight away shoulder forward from Schoolboy once again. It looks like he is going back to plan A. You can see really strong committed shoulder. Yes, he's committing forward. Khaled Shell, same neutral grip. He's just going to drag back with wrist flexion and pronation. Can he keep Schoolboy out of his shoulder? Schoolboy hunting yeah, for a quick, a good quick press. You can wear down. Go! But wow. the side pressure from Khaled Jashel there. Good defensive posture from Schoolboy this time. And there's the arm opening up on Khaled Jashel, but that defense is there. Schoolboy cannot Schoolboy. get through it. Good, but that good. defense, once again, the f it's going to be called a foul there. The referee's talking to Khaled Jashel, saying must get that shoulder up. This is where Schoolboy's taking the regroups now. Looking for the straps as Khaled Jashel. Will he get there or will he be stopped? Winner. There wow. it is. Win. One one. Khaled Jashel not getting out of the illegal defense. Very good. Let's take a look at the round number two. Khaled is in open arm position. And there's that first pin where where he had containment pin. of the yeah. top roll. Uh, fascinating battle. He do well from straps. Khaled Jashel would actually, I feel like if he slipped and, and made he it about, sure. yeah, yeah, he would I get would think connected. so. Yeah. It this is where Khaled Jashel's lack of experience may cost him. Let's see where this, this opening or this third round goes. No, don't move. We see confidence back on Schoolboy's face. Very good. Round number three. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. There is a decisive <laughs> pin. Wow, like, what is going on? <laughs> what is going on? Wait, let's have a look at the replay because that was dominant from the man from Cameroon. Just one surge, one pin, all control, no doubt, anywhere, done, 2-1. Boom, yeah. straight to the pad. It was the attempted defensive hook from Schoolboy. Yeah. Couldn't contain the pronation. Press, press, press. The pronator of Khaled and then looking to climb. Don't move. Don't move. Go! Into the hook once again. again. Similar position that we've been before. It's Schoolboy looking to drive on the offense, staying in that tight position. He's got control of the pronator, but he Khaled has very, been here. Very good. Very good on his biceps. Very good. Good position. He just needs to outlast Khaled, which is. And it's and King's, move is now. A King's move. And here comes the clamping ability of. Oh, oh we've got to change. There we go. First strike. Big round right here. Don't move. And there's the start. Side pressure initiated from Schoolboy, but containment from Khaled. Here we go, containment now as Khaled steps forward and he's considering getting his shoulder behind his arm. You can see the open arm defense from Schoolboy is in place. Khaled, though, he's bringing that match closer to his side. He's bending the wrist and he's continually standing up, ready to make that transition to the press. Absolute Schoolboy. war. Absolute war. Both of them stretched out. Who's going to be the person to stand up and take control of center first? Yeah. Khaled looking for Khaled's it. coming Here forward. He comes. Coming forward. The press, press is down. there. It's over. Wow. It's over. I think we are done. 3-1. Three, 3-1. Three wow. Khaled Jashel has just shown that he has got all bases covered. He is one round away from victory.
just beat Schoolboy for 3-1. We Let's have two more rounds to go. Look at There's that. There's still Beautiful. a chance for Schoolboy to turn this around, but he's running out of options. Kalajas Shell with an opportunity, if he, if he could sense it. There's a great opportunity for him to get a flash pin here, either way. With the way Schoolboy is setting up, let's see where it goes. This way, center. But again, you can see no finger pressure from Schoolboy, and he's yeah. high in the palm of the hand of Khaled. No! Looks for that sudden it's flop, in. and there it is, it's and over. There it ladies is. and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, Khaled Jashel. Wow. Pulls a huge upset, 4-1, wow. 4-1. I'm genuine. Wow, wow, wow. That's what King of the Table is all about. And we have started with an absolute shock. And Carlin has come out and taken it. Schoolboy, he's not doing the sixth round. He is injured in that. So, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the first round, Carlin Jashal. Oh, come here, mate. Come here. Keep those big mitts. Come stand here, mate. Look at everyone at home. You shocked me. You've shocked the world. You've shocked everyone here. You told us you were going to come and do it. Now you've done it. Inshallah, like I always say, by the grace of God, I will always do it. Give him a clap. Give him a clap. Now, Khaled, uh, you, you look pretty sweaty. That was a, an absolute blockbuster of a match. Whipped out the king's move. You took on a tough opponent in schoolboy. How's the big bits feeling? How's the arm feeling? No, my hands are feeling good. I have no injury. I'm okay. Mate, he's a man of few words. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Khaled. Just shout.